What's on? What's going on, Al, man? What's 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 the word? The word is great and it's good. First yeah, of all, thank you for joining me in this endeavor and celebrating this week of Geek Fest for the At Home Film Fest this weekend. Yeah. All right. So right now, I'm going to actually leave the floor to you. All right. You. I'm going to step you. away. But before we even do that, I'm going to show you an awesome clip. And then we're going to he's going to introduce the awesome guest that we have today. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Check it out. When your father told me he was a witch. I followed Edward along the path of night as much as I could, but I wouldn't lead anyone else down it. I think I understand. You sweet girl. If I could hold you in my arms one last time. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw, that very emotional clip, by the way, um, none other than actress, director, producer, anything that you hand her, I'm sure she can handle, Miss Annette Riley. <laughs> I'm well. Thanks for having me. This is going to uh, be fun. Yeah. Thank you for coming <laughs> on. This is, this is actually a, a privilege for me because I'm a huge fan of you being in Sabrina. Yay! I, 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 I'm, 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 it's a guilty pleasure, I got to tell you. I love the show, um, but let's talk about something that 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 just got brought to my attention. Not only that you act, you also produce, and now and you direct as well. But you've been doing both for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of want to know, like, how did this start out? Like, first, I want to know because the, the the short that you did that's getting all this all these reviews, these great reviews. People are really digging it, and it's very emotional, and people are really connecting with it. I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was brilliant. Thank you. Why that subject and how did you become the helm of this whole thing? Oh gosh. Um, well, there's a, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, I mean, I started directing years and years ago. I came, I come from a theater background mm -hmm. and uh, was offered an opportunity to start directing at uh, a local Vancouver, just outside of Vancouver theater gallery seven and was taken under their wing, learned that skill set there, and then was not getting cast in anything TV and film-wise in my 20s. So I went, screw it, I'm going to make my own stuff. So that's when I learned how to produce and started directing film as well. And uh, then, you know, life just started happening and things roll and a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and we end up here. <laughs> um, gosh, what was, the, what was the next part of that question? How, how, um, why, why this particular topic? Ah, how, yes. did, how did you become the director of this particular topic? This was, project? yeah, this was a, this was an interesting journey. It took almost two years for this project to get off the ground. It was brought oh. to me by the fantastic writer, Jessica McLeod. Mm -hmm. Um, and it had been written based on her, her close friends experience coming out to their family. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and obviously every trans experience is is unique. So this film can't speak to every uh, trans person's experience. Uh, however, the audience is more intended to be the parents, the family members, so that they can learn to accept and, um, and understand something that they may not understand. Um, that shift in what their expectations may have been. Um, and I think what had happened, I had come on as the producer, uh, helped Jessica get some packages together. We had applied for several different grants, didn't get the money. Uh, and then finally, uh, we had had Joel McCarthy, another Vancouver-based uh, independent film director, very awesome guy, uh, involved as the director. I was then cast as the mom, and then it kind of just came around where he wasn't able to, and I went, ah, screw it, I'll direct it. I know this thing inside and out. My heart is so involved, like I was so invested emotionally in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I had the entire vision in my head. So yeah. I had a lot of external forces saying, do it, do it, do it, do it. And it was hard. Was it written to be a nursery rhyme type of concept or did that come Afterwards. No, that was that was the brilliance of the script. I love yeah. Shakespeare, and I love I love working with poetry and and rhymes. And mm -hmm. for me, it was like, oh my gosh, this is a chance to bring the love of that that um, genre onto the, the screen. And then on top of it, 
I might like Disney a little bit. So I thought, how fun would it be to, to imitate that a little bit? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I very much used Wes Anderson and Disney as my two uh, influences for, for this. If you might, you might be able to see that. <laughs> it, 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 it's done very well. I mean, what part of the reason why it pulled me in so long, and I mean, it's not even that long, it's with 10 minutes. Um, yep. But you're, you're engaged um, because of one, the dialogue in rhyme, um, the beautiful scenery, it's shot like you're in Magic Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> uh, and and, I, and I, I just I just want to applaud you guys or you on that because I mean, it, it really just works and it's really a fresh take on how to tackle this subject, I think, because it's, yeah. it's, it's slowly but surely coming out. You see it all the time. I've seen it in certain teen shows. I've seen it in a lot of dramas, but this particular way, um, I mean, even as an adult, grab me. And I think that even younger audience, uh, uh, younger audiences could connect and, and, and learn something from it as well. Have you tested the market at all with showing it to younger children or younger generations? Yeah, I, I mean, it actually was purchased by uh, a, a, a community group here called Out in Schools to okay. show as as one of their project pieces when they go to schools and, awesome. and do presentations on inclusivity and diversity. Uh, so, I mean, that is really the crowning jewel to this whole film. It, it was always made with the, with the heart and the intention that it would be used to help educate and help open up people's hearts and minds. And I really do think, especially through that program, it's, it's doing its job. It's doing what it was made to do. So. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, um, it's pretty great. You mentioned that it was it took uh, two year two years to do this this whole project from beginning yeah. to end. How how many shooting days out of that? We only shot three days, <laughs> so it was, it was three shooting days. A uh, budget of twenty five thousand dollars, which we did a lot with the amount of money that we had, yeah. um, and that was not that, a lot of that came from my uh, Sabrina paychecks, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured I mean, that. I kind of figured that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, we've got friends. <laughs> awesome. So is there any, like, I mean, this is, I, I, I think this is a great thing. Is there any, like, or were there ever any talks of making this maybe, like, a feature or doing more with it? Or is it just a one-shot thing? Um, as of right now, it's, it's a one-shot. I'm not sure... I'm, I love short films. I like the format. Uh, I find they're even more difficult to do than longer format media uh, because it has to be so succinct. So, you know, like I have been to so many film festivals and seen so many short films. And I would say it's it's a, a rare short that actually succeeds in in having an entire story within it that's that's tied up nicely with a bow. So um, it would have to be adjusted a lot. I have had... A lot of people ask me this, actually. Um, I have a friend at Disney Studios, actually, uh, who asked me that same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, hey, you talk to your bosses and, yeah. and maybe we can make it happen. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's something special. I mean, even if it was like a mini series or something, add a little music in there. It could be, I think it could do wonderful things. I mean, I would love it to do yeah. that. I, I mean, again, if it could just keep opening up minds. And, and again, that fairy tale format, coming back to what you had said earlier, it's, it's, it really is this way that we've all learned to watch movies because mm. of giants like Disney yeah. um, and, and, and all of these fairy, fairy tale books that I'd say a lot of North Americans uh, grew up with. And it, it's, it's so it's it's almost a subversive way of twisting it a little bit to yeah. make people understand something that they might not have uh, a, a subject matter that they may might not have broached if mm -hmm. the format wasn't so familiar. Yeah. 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 I, I'd love yeah. to do a feature. Love it. Love it. And another thing, going back to the short, and um, there was a little foreshadowing there that I didn't catch. I watched it more than once. I watched it probably three times. Oh um, no! In, in the beginning. I noticed when the couple meets, uh, you and Brendan, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there's some things going on before we get to you. And I noticed the couple, the gay couple, right mm -hmm. before. So was that written or was that added in? Or 
because I, I caught that. I was like, wow, that's some good foreshadowing there. Like I didn't, <laughs> I didn't touch that the first couple of times I watched it. Most of that was written, actually. Like okay. the, again, Jess's script was brilliant okay. when it came into my hands. I can't. The first time I read it, I was on vacation with some friends. And they were mad at me because I was going into a room to do some work <laughs> instead of having fun. And I came out of the room in tears and I was like, I have to make this film. I have to. Like, I, it just, it hit me so hard. Uh, but yeah, that that was part of her brilliance. She wanted, uh, it was really her vision to establish just that hodgepodge mixture mm -hmm. of really how humanity exists, right? Like, yeah. There are there's so much diversity, and we wanted the uh, yeah. There's there's the 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 tiny little woman punching a big guy. Yeah, We've yeah. got the two men kissing, which is funny. One of those is my husband. <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> it, and it, what I want to say is like it's it's it is the norm now because I've like I said I watched it multiple times and it didn't even hit me. And so I started paying attention yeah. and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I didn't know what it was about. Right. I was like, hey, you need to check this out. I think you love it. You told me your background. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, let me see it. So I check it out and I know nothing about it. And so I just, it's, you walk, you go by it and it's just like, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it is very now, it's very uh, relevant, very fresh. And I, I just think it's brilliant. I, I really, well, really enjoyed it. Thank that. you. Yeah. We took a lot of care to make sure that every little, element had some sort of meaning. There was a lot of play with ken uh, colors, like the pink mm. and the blue, which is, you know, the gender norms. Yeah, um, yeah. And scrolling on the dolly from, mm -hmm. gosh, how do we read? <laughs> left to right until the baby comes along and then we start going right to left, uh, yeah. like so opposite of a storybook. And, you know, like little little things like that that I really wanted to just, just pump the whole film chock full of meaning and, I did that, pick up on the color thing. I did yeah. pick up on the color thing. Even yeah. having the girl in the blue and she was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 now that you've had the opportunity to play both sides of the, the spectrum, mm -hmm. where do you feel most comfortable? Do you love the acting? Because you've done quite a quite a few good things. Uh, I mean, X Files, uh, yeah. things. Yeah. You know, so where do you feel most comfortable? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, my training is primarily acting. I've been doing that since I was nine years old. So it's, uh, I'll let you guess how many years it's been, but, <laughs> uh, but it, oh gosh, that, that's a really hard question. I think nothing gets me more excited now than directing because I get to take both my acting training and my, um, my organizational and strategic brain and put them together. Yeah. Uh, so, so that right now is really my, my biggest passion, but I, I can't get away from acting. I love acting. If, if I had more opportunity to, to, to act, I'd be doing that a lot more. Um, I do have a film, <laughs> a little plug here called Broil that's coming out in October. It was supposed to release in May, but it's starring, uh, Timothy V. Murphy as my pop, uh, my vampire daddy. And, uh, well, sort of. They're not really vampires. And now I'm giving you spoilers. This is I not know, good. Right? Hey, keep talking. Keep talking. Exclusive. And Jonathan yeah. Lipnicki uh, is one of my co-stars. And John Cassini. And uh, gosh, just a whole bunch of really great actors in that one. So it's it's a horror. So it's get ready for horror. that one. I love horror. Is, it, is this going to be in theaters or via the... What it, what, what's Because you know it's... Crazy. We never know. You know what? That's just it. I have no idea as of right yeah. now. Uh, they had just gone to the Marché de Cannes, the, the film uh, selling thing in June. And we know that it's being released officially in October, no matter what. But I don't know yet where it's going to be released. So <laughs> stand by for that information. For Broil. Is that what it's called? Broil? Broil. Yes. Broil. Okay. Broil. I'm definitely looking for that October Halloween. <laughs> That's right. That's right up my alley. Well, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be yeah. great. I wish I had. I wish I could show you the the preview for that. that was... is, it, is it out right now, or is it um, I think there's a leaked version of it online on YouTube. Um, but yeah, yeah. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but the actual up. official trailer is not out yet. No. Okay, I'm no. gonna look it up. I'm definitely gonna look it up. And and, and my company, we we uh, we do interviews, but we also promote and put out 
new material trailers and news and things like that. So I'll make cool. sure I get that out. Um, so being being that you you know you're on this little indie road, road right now, you're doing the shorts, you're doing a lot of shorts. So you also have another one coming up, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I'm actually yeah. I'm gonna have I've a craft or something. I got a lot of stuff on in, I've got a, a feature film actually that I'm developing. It's a historical psychological thriller that I am set to direct and act in. So you like doing both. I decided it's going to be my thing. I can't, I'll, I'll do it until I can't. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it stressful? Like, I mean, it's there's hard. a lot of uh, directors that do that. And I always wonder like, eh, I don't know if I could do both. It, it, it's all about the prep. You have yeah. to be properly pre prepped and you have to pull together the right team. If mm -hmm. you don't have a team that can basically read your mind and you read their minds, then forget about it. But it's, it's, you really, yeah, it's hard. It's a lot of work. Um, but I don't know. I almost prefer directing myself at this stage in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get nervous when I have other directors yeah. and I'm like, are you sure? Can I watch the monitor? Can I see? That's, all, that's what's going on in my head. But of so, course I'm how many times do you have to retake a shot? Is it like taking a selfie? Do you do it like a couple hundred times before you say, okay, let's move on, break down, go to the next? Well, I think I've usually established the the framing and all that stuff. So it's, for me, I know I've nailed a, a performance just by how it feels and mm. people's reactions in the room. I think it's our job as actors. Uh, I have a, a coach, Tom Todorov, who who always says it's your job to change the the molecules in the room. So mm. when you sh you feel that shift, yeah. it's like, okay, that's the one, and you just trust it. You just really? gotta trust it. It's art, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that. It's doing both. That's cool. So is there, is there, you know, any like indie advice that you could give to people? Because I know, you know, this whole, um, it's a short thing. You, you get a lot of people who are passionate that don't mm -hmm. make the connections or the background that you have. Right. How can they, you know, get a taste of some of that? You know, like what, what path would you send an up and coming person on? Uh, you know what? I would, I would tell them that it's about perseverance. It's about holding true to your own style and just pushing through. Um, it doesn't matter what other people are saying. Just keep working hard and no one else is going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of your own money, at, at least at first. Yeah. Um, but, you know, get out there, get your face out there and just keep doing it. That's it. Yeah. Last man standing. That's what it's all about. I throw. <laughs> to, be on, to be on a pirate ship. I saw an interview with you where you were talking about, you know, the, 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 the life of an actor, an actress. Um, and it's not what it's cracked up to do. Oh, no. I Whenever I'm coaching students, especially younger kids, well, not younger kids, but teenagers, they'll say, make sure that this is really what you want to do, that this is the only thing that you could yeah. possibly do deep in your soul if there is anything else that interests you just as much then do that because that'll be easier it's so hard there is so much rejection and there's so much work and so much commitment and you'll never be able to have a normal life as yeah. normal <laughs> so, it's so you almost, gotta love it so it's almost better to to do what you do and create your own vision and create you know build your own team and and, and, and put things together that way. Yeah, I mean, I would say so. It's it's harder. I do yeah. work um, professionally in the Vancouver uh, service industry as far as a lot of the LA companies will come up to Vancouver and shoot their stuff here. And so I, I work as a, a first assistant production coordinator, sometimes a production coordinator uh, in that world. So mm -hmm. I, I do the paid gig thing um, and that's, hard but it's definitely harder to do the indie route for sure 100 percent. and you've had you've had i mean you've come a long way and you've, you've, you've struggled a lot you've been through things i know you're a cancer survivor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you gotta give it up uh, how long how long has that been behind you oh you know what next month it'll be eight whole years since i was oh, declared in remission so mm -hmm. i'm technically considered cured of cancer because yeah. it, it was chemo or uh colon cancer so i did chemo and surgeries and all that fun stuff <laughs> <That's> <laughs>
We we here at Critics, we have our own little brand that we started uh, called uh, Bench for Breast Cancer. Nice, look um, at that. And basically what we do is we, we binge movies and television shows for a long length of time and raise money while we do it. That so, is so cool. Oh, last time we my did that, we, uh, we did the whole for a second season of Stranger Things for nine hours straight online and raised a thousand dollars. Good job. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud to like, I'm so happy to hear that. It, I can't tell you like somebody from the cancer community. I can't tell you how much that means to everyone yeah. um, that you would do that and, and, and yeah, help bring, bring awareness and raise the funds. Thank you. Thank no, you. No problem. No problem. <laughs> um, let me know. I can send you a embroidered hat with the logo. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, I I I want to commend you on that. That's a that's a that's a big big thing to go through. It was it was pretty big, and I had a an, a toddler at the time, so it was wow. it, <laughs> that, that was. You in Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> it's where I figured out that I could do both directing and acting because it's like if I can <laughs> do chemo and raise a kid or potty train them, then you know what I can do anything. <laughs> wow. wow! If I didn't need a haircut, I'd give you a hat off. <laughs> That's why my hair is tied up. I need a haircut so badly. <laughs> well, it's also awesome. very hot. I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us. It's been an honor. Um, like I said, I'm a fan. Um, I love Sabrina, and I, and, now, and now and now I'm just a fan. Period. I, I'm I'm mm -hmm. gonna check out that that uh, other the broil 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 yeah broil. As soon as we're done. Um, before we go, I would like to show the viewers a trailer to this wonderful short that we've been talking about for the last 25 minutes. Um, a fairy tale, a, a typical fairy tale. Yes. Directed by actress, producer, and director, Annette Riley. Al, whenever you're ready, man. Thank you. <laughs> Once upon a time when a knight met a queen, their lust turned to love of a worth rarely seen. All was not well in the family's home, and soon they faced trials with fallout unknown. How can they avoid all the rage, fear, and laughter for king, queen, and child to live happily ever after? I also wanted to ask you um, about the the young lady who played the like. Where did they find her? She's amazing. Amico, Amico yeah. uh, is from Central BC, and uh, their mom is is an agent and heard about it, and we brought we brought them down. Uh, Amico is gender fluid, so so uh, goes by they them pronouns most commonly nowadays, really? uh, and they were just spectacular to work with um absolutely adored every second with them and what a wonderful job what a wonderful job emiko ended up doing it was I, I was so touched that he was even willing to come and and do such a complicated role so mm -hmm. very very lucky to have found emiko he's, he's very good he's very yeah. very good yeah. um where can they find you and where can they find the short? Oh gosh, oh. Uh, the short right now, uh, I mean, Geek Fest, it's going around Geek Fest quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You can find a version of it on, uh, if you go to YouTube and type in Story Hive, uh, that is the the previous, the previous version. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, and I'm on Instagram primarily at Annette Riley Official. You can also hit me up on Facebook at Annette Riley or Twitter at Annette Riley. There you go. Yeah. And uh, you got something to say to the people, Al? I yeah, you. I do. This is Hi, a kick-ass interview. Oh, my God. <laughs> Clap, you did such an awesome job in Annette, your journey. <laughs> Amazing, your blast as, as a survivor. Thank you. Answer your many blessings, and I hope that it never shows up again. Going, you right? Know, yes. You've done defeated it, and that's that. Yes, you know, it's gone. And, and let's just go forward. Uh, uh, amazing. I mean, actress, director, doing so many things. I mean, <laughs> boom! Wow. I, I love I, it. I actually believe that she scared it away. She's, that I'm scared. 
No, no, no. no. Scared you scared over. the cancer away. That's <laughs> oh, the, it said, I ain't messing with a net, yo. This is too much. <laughs> this I too much going on. I burned it with my yeah. joy. Yeah. Burnt <laughs> with your joy and passion with yeah. the wonderful product that came out of a typical fairy tale. I also watched it off the hook. We Aww. reviewed it as well, my team, when we did a, a, a film freeway. And the thing that we thought of so much was Dr. Seuss type feel to it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a that's a good yeah, that that that's a good yeah. comparison. We yeah. loved it and you know, many blessings and continued success in this Thank endeavor. You. And very important is that this weekend, folks, you see that get your passes at bit.ly <laughs> slash geek dash fest. This geek fest film fest, the at home film fest is this coming weekend. Oh for my god, you get to watch a plethora of films by creators as creative mm -hmm. as Annette. I mean, for a, that's an uber deal. Yeah, this oh, yeah. weekend. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. why, why wouldn't you pitch in? Because listen, COVID's going on, so I know you guys ain't doing crap. All right. <laughs> so We're always looking for new content. Exactly. So that's sit right. back at home, spend three dollars as opposed to to a ten dollar on a stupid VOD to actually support the amazing indie community of film creators that Geek Fest. And, and you know, a shout out to Bill O, Bill Ostroff yes. from Geek yeah. Fest. I mean, he's amazing. He's been working his butt off. And, and thank you, Bill, for, for uh, coming to Comic Crew and Undercover Capes to help in this process to show off this amazing stable of creators within the network that is Geek Fest. So, you know, I, I feel very privileged and happy about this. It's amazing. And, and, and again, to have my PCNN partner here, Clep, do such a kick-ass interview. I really appreciate your time today. Yeah, bro. Do, do that Jay-Z <laughs> joint right there, you know? So, Annette, you know, thank you again. Do you happen to have a website or is it just on social? Just social media at, at this point in time. Yeah. But I did want to say thank you so much for all the kind words. Like, it means so much to hear that. And, yeah. Please no. come watch. Come watch. No, no. thank <laughs> you. Thank you. You know, for doing what you do. We definitely are here to support you and everything that your 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 label does. Absolutely 110%. Just like we support thank Geek you. Fest and like we yeah. support critics and the PCNN, Comic Crew, UCPN. We're taking over the world. Now, Woo! tomorrow we're gonna have an even, you know, a much more, not much more. We're gonna have an, uh, another cool interview, all right, with awesome. another director, you know, Woo! from this Geek Fest. So again, it's a celebration of everything Geek Fest. It's gonna be amazing. All right. Awesome. So, Annette, thank you. Clep, thank you. Thank thank you. you. And thank everybody, you. check out my thank man Clep at thank wearecritics.com for everything TV, movies. Like, yo, we do comics, but my man, yo, he murders it when it comes to, to Hollywood. All right? Yeah. yeah, man. So with that, I'm Al Mega with Clep and Annette Riley. This is another UCPNCC special all about Geek Fest. Thank you for tuning in. Much love. Bye. Bye, Clap. Thank you. Bye, Al.